C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Speak Some More. My name is Saros88 and today, as you can see, I'm still in the caves. But not quite. <laughs> I've been doing some uh, work in between episodes because I found something and maybe you are actually kind of hearing it in the background. I will I will shut up for a little moment just so you can listen. I don't know if you guys can discern what sound that is. Better if I just show you. Whoa. You guys seen that? We have a skeleton corner. Hey, get out of there. <laughs> now they're killing each other, okay. But yeah, <laughs> we found one, and of course I uh, automatically started working on it. This is like uh, the AFK chamber, that's where I stand. And then we go down here, and we reach this place. I've already set up like a uh, complete enchantment setup here, a little bit of a storage room, some decoration here. Uh, here I will actually place kind of like a dumpster with a uh, block of lava. And yeah, here's the recollection system. Uh, here we can use our sword, some precious material. Look at all. Look at all that loot. <laughs> oh, and a zombie. What are you doing here? Okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, here we can just grab all of our bows. Here I will have a little bit of enchanting bows. And why are there zombies here? Why are zombies spawning? I mean, <laughs> that's weird. Uh, but yeah. And this is nearby our actual home on the Sherry Groove. Because, uh, again, another zombie? What? Maybe I left some weird spaces on the system? I don't know. It's weird that there's zombies here. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, this place is nearby my home. <laughs> It's actually quite a long way up. I almost died like two times because of drowning and stuff. But yeah, there's our home, there's the caves. And I was exploring a little bit of, of the cave system nearby and I found that spawner, which is actually amazing because I think that's the best spawner that you can find in the game. And if you remember a few episodes back, well, not a few, like a lot of episodes back, <laughs> I was talking about maybe finding uh, one of those spawners on the caves and finally we got it. Uh, we now can craft like super powerful bows. I mean, not that my bow is not powerful, but I would like a little bit of uh, a backup <laughs> due to um, the most recent deaths that, that we had uh, like five episodes ago or something like that, where I lost all my stuff uh, on the lava lake. And it was a huge uh, pain in the butthole <laughs> to craft another one of these without a spawner like this one. So yeah, this is actually great news for me. And still I have to work on the actual entrance here. I was thinking maybe to build a house or some kind of structure in the same theme as my house. Um, this design, is, as you can remember, if you are watching for from a long time ago, uh, this is a design by Save Pixel, uh, a great YouTuber, 
she hasn't been so uh, so active the, this last few months but yeah um, she makes great content on minecraft so if you want to check her out i will leave her profile in the description but yeah i was thinking maybe doing something similar to this but then again i also have the project of making uh this village like a cherry blossom village so i have the project to rebuilding this so i don't know if we should actually try and come up with some design that will lead like the construction of this village and that will be like our first um i don't know like a sketch of how are we going to build the rest of it so yeah i guess that's uh, something i have to work on <laughs> and yeah i will show you a little bit of a montage of me working on that let's see what we come up with and yeah i'll see you in a moment i guess All right, so that's done. <laughs> it took a while, uh, but not that much. I went actually into my uh, creative world just to do a little sketch of what I wanted to build. And yeah, uh, it's a simple design, but again, this is just like the first approach to what I would like to build in the whole village. 
and since this is just like the entrance to the actual building which is down uh, down there which I already showed you I figured um, as much as it could be this simple building and that's it um, then again I do want to uh, give the, the other buildings a little bit more volume I think this is a little bit uh, stale for putting a word to it uh, but yeah I think uh, I will work a little bit more deep in the actual houses that I want to build for all the villagers and all of their professions I do want to make um, each of the professions uh, a special house so yeah it, it, it will feel a little more a little more vivid once we start building uh, I was thinking maybe we can actually continue the village over here on the hill and then uh, it going down there and even into the beach down there because I think there's houses uh, just below this yeah one house but yeah I mean we could we could uh, try and integrate it somehow with a path going up maybe and and yeah we can we can do this uh, village as a whole which I think would be pretty nice uh, let me quickly just sleep just so mobs don't get in our way oh I already had my <laughs> my bed in my inventory I'm sorry about that but yeah basically uh, this is the palette that I'm gonna be using I think I've gathered a lot of deep slate in uh, what uh, in every episode of the series basically and I do love the the new textures of the cherry wood so yeah I think this is like the palette that I'm going for and the whole village is going to look a little bit like this and uh, so yeah a little bit of a detail here the bone block and the outside I, I do like that motif so maybe I will use it as well for all the uh, professions that we are going to have on the village as well and maybe I will carry this out to all the villages that we are going to build on this world because of course we have the surface village that is going to be the actual kingdom of, of Spixmore uh, so that's not going to be just a village but a city uh, which will go on the surface near our base then we have like the cave village uh, which I intend to have uh, two of them one just below our base uh, which will be um, like the prototype of what is to come and then the big one it's going to be at the ancient city I do have the intent uh, of grabbing that project and rebuild the whole ancient city uh, to its former glory maybe <laughs> we can call it like that <laughs> so yeah uh, two, two pretty big cities the ancient city and the kingdom of Swixmore and then uh, this village and the village uh, below my base my, my primary base um, so yeah a lot of designs to work on and I think that's uh, the beginning of, of, of this project so let's just quickly uh, jump in and see the inside so very basic uh, decoration but I think it looks nice so some candles just some decoration here a little bit of storage some books as well uh, a little more storage uh, just as a theme of course the skeleton cranium here some candles as well and I decided to to place this little detail just like uh, for the villagers uh, to know where where do you go down and where do you go up and, uh, and yeah I mean it's pretty obvious for us but maybe they are not so smart and then you drop down here and here you are where the skeletons spawn and where you can kill all of them and just grab your stuff and craft more bows and all that stuff so yeah I think I think that's project finished at least for this one this small one and I realized while I was uh, building all that stuff and gathering all of my materials that I needed a little bit more of um, organization in my ender chest so I went ahead and actually completed a little bit more of my uh, shulker boxes I'm still not sure if I want to create more 
or if this is uh, my ultimate uh, layout and I actually wanted to show you guys uh, how am I organizing my ender chest because I think it's one of those things that um, no not many uh, youtubers actually talk about or where not, not many minecraft players in general talk about because um, most of them they actually just play until they um, kill the ender dragon and that's it they leave their uh, their series there and since this is a long run series uh, I just wanted to, to talk a little bit about this so first of all I do have my um, like valuables uh, box here we have some so sh some shulker shells as well to create more shulker boxes in case we need them I have a golden helmet which is the normal helmet th that I would use to go to the nether then I have my um, chest plate uh, well my, my um, netherite chest plate sorry about my brain fart uh, which I will quickly uh, switch with my wings just in case I need it uh, some ancient debris some blocks of diamonds uh, netherite scrap and netherite ingot of course then we have some obsidian in case we need it uh, some diamonds uh, loose diamonds as well and this is actually the result of those um, those materials that we were talking about in the ancient city that I didn't know what they did which is the echo shards turns out this is a new item that came with this update actually you take eight of these echo shards you place them uh, like like this and then you place a compass a normal compass here and then you craft the recovery compass and I was reading a little bit about it and it turns out this recovery compass points out the last place you died on so for example here it's pointed somewhere on that direction and that shows the last place I died in this dimension if I was on the nether or on the end this will be going crazy like just uh, running around like in circles and doing nothing but point everywhere uh, all at once so yeah if if we start traveling that way maybe we will uh, reach the place where I last died which I think it's kind of useful especially if you're exploring uh, so maybe I will uh, do like a survival kit uh, like like uh, an if you die kid maybe it's the best way to put it with some armor some uh, a wing uh, s some set of wings and some rockets and all that stuff and one of those just so I can quickly reach uh, the actual place that I was when I died just in case I mean so yeah uh, basically more tools here I can just uh, put away all my uh, not uh, all my all my t all my tools that I'm not using. I'm sorry about my mouth today. I'm <laughs> having a little bit of trouble speaking here. Uh, then we have the iron box, which also serves as the beacon box. Uh, here I just have a lot of blocks of iron, which can actually be used to build the the beacon. And again, I can use the iron ingot the iron ingots to power the beacon up, or I can just grab some diamonds and use it for that. Uh, then we have the wood box in which I have uh, a lot of oak, uh, well not just oak, but a lot of locks, that's the word that I was looking for. Uh, I think it's almost all the types or all the types of wood available in the game so far. Maybe just not bamboo, that's the only one missing, but yeah. And of course we have the saplings in case we need it. We have to go grab more crimson fungus from... Um, the nether biomes then we have of course our rocket our rocket box here so a lot of fireworks and all my wings just in case you need them then we have our food box I mean there's no more explanation than that then we have our stone box which just has a lot of uh, variations of stone just in case we need them to build or craft or something like that and a stone cutter which is a very useful tool now that I've um, I've been building, I've been using it like quite a lot. Then we have our red box box as well, a redstone box. Wow, I'm really brain farting a lot. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, man. Um, so yeah, 
all of my redstone components in case I need them. Now that we have been to the ancient city, uh, I have a lot of skulk sensors which we can use for redstone circuits as well. And then we have my potion box which has all the ingredients and necessary materials for us to uh, craft some, some potions. I'm missing glass actually, but I can actually... Uh, oh, I thought I had a shulker box here. Maybe I left it behind. But yeah, uh, I think I have some glass nearby. And then my survival kit actually, uh, which, some, which, which, which has some spy glasses, crafting tables, two buckets of water to create an infinite water source, a lot of coal, a lot of wood, uh, some uh, loose coal, some sticks to create torches of course and then we have like to create feathers as well which we will not use I think um, because of that farm actually <laughs> and a lot of scaffolding which I think I will be using in case uh, we start building like huge things and stuff uh, so yeah we have all of that here and yeah this is basically my layout for the moment maybe I will be changing it uh, according to my needs and if I do so I will let you know how it changed and yeah I think I think that's it for today's episode guys I really hope you're enjoying and if you are please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next one see ya